to come to this point because we truly do love working with the children with the rec program and watching them grow and teaching them swimming lessons as it's a very important skill. Um, as lifeguards uh, who have chosen to participate in work stoppage, we would just like to explain our actions. We would first like to point out that this uh, participating in work stoppage was not our first step in trying to uh, see a wage improvement. We met with um, Potsdam Recreation Director Trace Mutz. Uh, he uh, met supposedly with uh, people in the town and they decided that they weren't going to raise um, our wage, which we're really only asking for state minimum wage at this point. So we decided that this was kind of our only option to see a fair wage. Uh, and I'd also like to point out the responsibilities we have on a daily basis. We're teaching swim lessons five days a week. Some of us are teaching private lessons separately and we're not getting paid um, extra for this or anything. And uh, we do kayak rentals. We maintain the ropes. Um, clean bathrooms. Clean bathrooms. Um, and we'd also like to note that before starting this job, we did not receive any kind of document to sign, whereas usually in past years we have saying our position, saying the amount we are going to be paid, and um, a spot to sign accepting this. Um, also, we'd also like to note that lifeguards at beaches, at lo other local beaches um, that have the same certifications as we do, are making above state minimum wage. And um, even their substitute guards are starting above minimum wage. And our substitute guards are starting at $10 an hour when state minimum wage is 10.40 an hour. Um. And ultimately, the ideal resolution of this is we are given the wage that we feel that we earned and get back to working and serving the town of Potsdam and the neighboring communities that come to the beaches and keeping people safe.